So you're looking to get a green lawn. And in fact, you want your lawn so green that it's greener than everyone else's around you or greener than those on the other side of the fence. And you're wondering, what can you apply to make that happen? And most of you probably wanna apply something that's gonna make it happen sooner rather than later. So that's what this video is about today. I'm gonna to talk to you about some really basic things that you can apply to your lawn to keep it greener than everyone else around you, longer, in different seasons, in all seasons. And that's what we're gonna talk about today are some simple and effective ways to keep your lawn greener than the other side of the fence all year long. First and foremost, I recommend you apply a little bit of knowledge. Yeah, I know, applying knowledge doesn't seem too exciting, but knowledge is definitely power when it comes to lawn care because most of what you're gonna find when you start taking care of your lawn and trying to turn it green and keep it green is that you're at the mercy of the weather. However, there are some things that are within your control and that's where a little bit of knowledge can go a really long way in helping you achieve your goals. So first off, understand your grass type and how it has adapted to grow within the climate where you live. I put these up and we'll show them again. These are the cool season and warm season growth habit charts. You can see that cool season lawns, they're gonna do best in spring and fall, whereas warm season lawns are gonna do best in the summer. And that's why we call this warm season turf, because it likes the warmer seasons and that's when it grows. And so that's when you're gonna be able to keep this grass the greenest. When it's already naturally wanting to grow and wanting to reach up tall and wanting to grab sunlight, you have then the opportunity to make that even better by filling in those gaps. And that's what we're gonna talk about in the next few sections. Now folks, with cool season lawns, it doesn't mean you're giving up and stopping. You can also keep your grass green in the summer. You just have to go about it with a little bit of a different approach. And so the point here is to really just help you set your expectations properly. If you're watching this video and it's the middle of August and you live in Northern Illinois, that means you have cool season grass, it's probably gonna be well over 85, even into the 90s. Look at that growth curve your grass is not really doing a lot at that time. So you should not expect to blow up your lawn super dark green if you're just starting out and it's August and it's 95 degrees in Northern Illinois. Whereas on the flip side, if you're in South Texas and you have St. Augustine grass like I do here and it's that same August day and it's well over 90 or 100 or whatever you guys get to in Texas, this is perfect for your lawn to start going. It's perfect for it to start strengthening and growing and thickening up and yes, turning super dark green. Okay, now that you know what to expect with your grass type and the time of year that you're in, let's talk about filling in some of the gaps. And the first way that we fill in gaps is with fertilizer, nutrients. We're gonna give it some things that are gonna boost it, mainly to make it more green, but we're also gonna give it things that are gonna boost its vigor, which also makes it look greener. And the first element we're gonna talk about is iron. Iron is what gives lawns that deeper, darker, blue or green color. And iron is the number one thing that you wanna look for in a fertilizer when you wanna have a lawn that's greener than everybody else's around you. You can get iron all by itself. This is a chelated liquid iron. You mix this in water and you spray this on the lawn and you leave it and it will turn your lawn a noticeably bluer color within just a couple of days, really probably within just a few hours. In order to get the maximum benefit from this product, you'd wanna use the higher rate, which is 16 ounces per thousand. Being that this is a 16 ounce pint, that means that this pint covers 1,000 square feet. So if you had a lawn any bigger than that, you'd need a couple two tree of these bad boys to make any kind of difference. All right, now hold on just a minute there. I know some of you are ready to go out and get some liquid iron and throw it down and be good to go and you're gonna be green. And you know what, you would, but there's a reason that I highlighted the pricing there. And that is because there are better ways to fill in these gaps. But before we get to that, let's talk about the next way we're gonna fill in gaps here to keep our lawn greener. Oh boy, ain't it nice when the sun comes out? Look at that grass. We'll talk about that in a minute too. But I wanna to talk about the next element that turns lawns green and especially one that's gonna help your lawn be greener than everybody else's and that is nitrogen. Nitrogen is actually a macronutrient. It's the first number that you'll see of the three numbers on any bag of fertilizer. And when you see that in fertilizer, you can know that your lawn is going to be green if you apply that. So here is a fertilizer that is mostly just nitrogen. You can see right there, 2600. This right here will turn your lawn very green very quickly, actually, within, again, just a couple of days. This is a 32 ounce quart, so this covers 2000 square feet. And this also comes in larger jugs, but we'll put up that price comparison once once again for you so you can see how that looks. So those are the two things that you need to turn your lawn green and make sure that it remains greener than everyone else's, nitrogen and iron. But there is a third element that I like to add in because it supports those two, especially during stressful times like summer. 
our third element, and the third element that's on the bag of every fertilizer is potassium. Now, potassium isn't necessarily going to turn the lawn a different color, although lawns that are pumped with potassium to me do have a truer green look to them. But potassium's main role is stress support. The summer can be stressful from insects, disease, heat, drought, foot traffic, and potassium helps the lawn stand up to and recover from those stresses. It also helps with water retention and keeping the lawn in balance, which is called homeostasis. So this is a granular sulfate of potash. You can see there, 0048, 48, the third number on any bag of fertilizer, the third number is the potassium content, 48% sulfate of potash. This is actually a polymer coated material, which makes it slow release. This is a great way to get potassium, but keep in mind this 24 pound bag covers 12,000 square feet, which comes down to a cost of $4.99 per thousand or $24.99 per application for an average 5,000 square foot lawn. All right, so some of you might be thinking, geez, Al, it's expensive to keep my lawn green. Well, here's the thing. You don't have to buy all of those elements separately because there's a little secret here that's not really a secret, and that is that pretty much the entire fertilizer making world, all the big companies like Scott's and all of them, they all know that those three things are what make a lawn green or support keeping a lawn green too. Nitrogen, potassium, and iron. And so when you go to a big box store and you look at fertilizer products that are all combined, you know what three elements are in most of them or in pretty much in all of them really that's right nitrogen potassium and iron all combined into one product that you can lay them all down in one big shot and so that makes things a lot cheaper and by the way it doesn't just happen with granular fertilizers there's also the same option available in liquid so what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and show you some products from store-bought to ones that I sell on my store that, that you can use to compare and that's why I've been giving you these prices so you can take that knowledge and apply that to products that you might be looking at at big box stores in your area too Okay, real quick here. Now I realize that I can be criticized for not going in depth here because there are differences in the elements you apply, the types of nitrogen, the sources, the fertilizer sources of those micros, of that iron. I realize that there are differences there. And if you wanna get into learning a whole lot more and you wanna get deep down the rabbit hole, I recommend you check out Yard Care Bootcamp. I'll link it below. It's my training, it's step-by-step -step training for DIYers. It'll teach you all the why behind everything else that I've been talking about here. And that's for those of you that wanna get a little bit deeper and learn everything you can about doing your own lawn, Yard Care Bootcamp, linked in the description below. So far you know what to expect from your grass type depending on where you live and what time of year it is. You also now know three basic elements to apply to the lawn to help it to be as green as possible. But the third thing that we're gonna talk about that you're gonna need to apply, and it's the most important thing, is water. Think about this, grass plants are made up of 80% water. So adding all those other elements in, while that's great and that's gonna turn the lawn green and all of these things, 80% of your results will come because you have or don't have enough water. You can see that struggling spot right over there. That's because my irrigation doesn't reach it properly and I've been too lazy to adjust it. And you can see that spot over there is lagging and there's one over there, and even right in here just a little bit. But look at the rest, beautiful. That's properly watered right there. 
That back there is properly watered now, but it wasn't for quite a while and it's still lagging quite badly. Now we're in an exceptionally dry period right now in Florida when we shouldn't be, we should be in our rainy season. I've got a whole bunch more videos on this though, actually on how to water properly, because that's the biggest mistake people make. They don't even know how to water properly. You think you do, but you don't. So I've got a couple videos up there for you that are kind of shed some light for you, help you get a watering plan together so that if you're gonna do these other things, you're gonna get your timing right because of the right time of year with your grass type, and then you're gonna apply those three elements we talked about, you wanna make sure that you have the watering to back it all up. So let me explain something to you here. The difference in this lawn right here and that lawn over there 80% of the difference is water. Everything else is only that smaller percentage, 20%. And right now we're in a dry spell, so even the 20% that I do right here doesn't make as big of a difference because of the fact that I'm having trouble keeping up with the watering. Whereas over there, they've started trying to water, so they're trying to come up. I'm struggling, I'm coming down, and it's putting us more on an even par. So as much as I might wanna throw down more NPK right here, without enough water, it's not gonna do a lot of good because water is really the biggest differentiator also one other tip when i took the picture for the thumbnail this grass was uncut it was much longer and, and with saint augustine grass when it's uncut it looks a lot greener just because it's such a fat grass there's more blades to show and so it looks better so there's a tip right there if you're going to take a picture of saint augustine grass next to your neighbors make sure yours is uncut and his is cut you'll automatically look better and while we're talking about photos, one last tip, your grass will always look greener when the sun is shining. So always take pictures for like Instagram and Facebook when you have bright sunlight. That will always make the grass look more vibrant and therefore greener. And with that, I hope these tips have been helpful to you. Make sure you check out the helpful links in the description below. I'm actually gonna go into more of that fertilizer pricing, break that down a little bit more about pounds on the ground in the email this week. So if you wanna sign up for my free weekly emails, that'll be down in the description below as well. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your long weekend here. If you're somebody that has family members that have given their lives and sacrificed for a country like I have, this is the weekend we remember them and we spend time with family and however else you want to exercise your freedom. I hope you're having fun doing it. I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the lawn.